Oh god, he's got Saber Athena. What are we gonna do? There is one way. But that plan's suicide. Well, do you have a better plan? Well, no, but... Now shut up and let me do this. <laughs> Here, Shinji. Oh god, everybody run! Hey man, just welcome to Super Important Views. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we'll be going over the Diamond Select Pacific Rim Uprising... Figures, toys, stuff. <laughs> Bracer Phoenix, <laughs> Saber Athena, and Gypsy Avenger action figures. And just by the case, just by looking at them through the case, Steve, they look better than the uh, other ones we did. Well, paint app wise. That's what I mean, paint app wise. They look better. <laughs> we'll get into it in a little bit to see how good the articulation and accessories stand up. Which as of right now, they, def they come with at least the same accessories, if not Except. more. Gypsy Danger, he comes with more. Avenger. Gypsy Danger, damn it. Avenger. Avengers assemble, they're not assembling. They could, maybe the next one. This movie was pretty much Power Rangers, so what? the, the next thing we need is the Megazord. The Mega Jaeger. Oh, with the nanos all combine them into one big one? Yeah. That, that'd be weird. And then they're going to go to their world and punch things in the face, just like they do over here. But, if you guys haven't seen the movie yet, movie is sweet. I definitely recommend you guys go check out the film. And we also would like to thank Diamond Select for making this review possible. Now I'm just waiting for the kaiju to come in whenever it decides to show up. I think it's sometime early summer. But I'm excited for Wave 2 because I definitely want that Jaeger kaiju. Yeah. I want that thing so bad. Because <laughs> there's no robot spirit one. So this is, I kind of have to go with this line if I want to get it as of right now. And as of right now, like looking at them, we'll just get into them. So without further ado, further packaging. Packaging sweet. I actually like these guys' displays way better than the robot spirits. Like, I'll, I'll definitely say that right now. In the package, these look really cool. Okay, so I noticed the odd thing, too. Robot spirits and the diamond select, they have the same sword. Look, it's bigger than the other ones. Well, it's a bigger figure. No, no, I'm talking about, like, the sword itself. When you combine them, it's bigger. How did it grow? <laughs> same issue. We'll get to that here in a little bit. Uh, we haven't gotten around to doing his robot spirits review. But uh, you guys will probably see that come up over here fairly shortly. It'll be Obsidian Fury and then his, and then Guardian Bravo. So many Jaeger names to remember. Oh, God. <laughs> but they do look really nice in the packaging. You'll see on the front, you got a little piece of cardboard here with the movie logo. Name of the figure inside of the package. You get a nice clear plastic so you can see the figure and everything that it comes with, which... Wow. Like, you already have the chain blades and all the weapons accessories is really cool. On the back of the packaging, just shows you everybody in the line. Gives you a little bit of a bio. A shot of the Jaeger from the film. And that's pretty much it. And some legal mumbo jumbo on the bottom. Oh, so, the side. The side's got a nice view. Oh, the sides do got really nice view. Yeah, it's another, like, uh, artistic shot of the Jaegers. So, I'm assuming there's one on each side. Yep. That one's... I said they. I was kind of hoping they would make like a shot, but he's like, like where would they match up? Yeah, but his is like snow. You can see the city in the background with water, and he's literally standing in the city. Hmm. I think that's probably my favorite. Saber Athena's. Yeah, it does look nice, doesn't it? I think that was probably the worst because it looks a little like faded, so it's not quite as clean as the other two. Like that's the cleanest easily. Then going that way. But let's get them opened up out of their cardboard. Well, I guess more plastic prisons. Plastic prisons. All right, so now that we got them opened up out of their plastic prisons, first we're going to go over... Their accessories. All of them at once. Oh. It's just like a big pile right here, Steve. It is a big pile right there. <laughs> and that's like the biggest positive to these guys Whoa. is their accessories. Uh, well, mostly Gypsy's accessories. Mostly Gypsy. Like, from... Right now, if when we're comparing to Robot Spirits, Saber comes with the exact same amount. Horizon technically is missing two things, but one is permanently attached. So really, it's only missing one thing. Yeah. Technically. So I guess first we'll go over Horizon just because it's hands. So for Bracer Phoenix, he comes with a open hand for smacking some kaijus with the brass knucks over top of it with a little bit of added paint job here for... The knuck portion, which is gunmetal gray with some... God, what is that? It's like sand. It's like greenish sand color. <laughs> Best way for me to describe it. 
and another open palm hand. Now, what he comes with as an accessory is two clenched versions, which how you swap these out is you just pull straight from the forearm, like so. And then you just keep dropping that stuff. Uh, drop it like a tot. And then you just push them into the forearm. I'm gonna go straight in. Be careful because you don't want to stress the peg there. And then each of the hands are on a swivel joint. So we got one fist in. Let's go with second fist. That one actually went in pretty easy, which I feel like is the hand I'm gonna always have in this guy. Not the hair though, but yeah. Hands look good. Thing I love, and I'm just gonna point out right now, is that the thrusters here are painted for the other hand. Super sweet. And then for not accessory, but it was accessory on the robot spear, so we'll go over that too real quick. Is the gun here is permanently attached to him. I was thinking it might pull out, but nope. So he forever has chest cannons. Did you try? I tried. I tried with all my might. Cause kind of sadly, like I wanted to. Like, you can put them on the back, maybe, in the movie. What would have been sweet is you could actually articulate it and come down like you did in the movie and it come up back here. I feel like that's a Shigokin thing, though, right? Ah. Uh, <laughs> if I had to guess. And for Saber Athena, comes with a pair of open hands, which we actually had already attached to the figure previously. The ones we have on now are the sword hands for gripping, which I swap these out again, just like the other one. Yeah, pull it, make sure it's straight into the joint, push it back in, so there you can see with the open hand, and then can only move inwards, not backwards, because the armor section here gets in the way. Now, grabbing the gripping hand so you guys can see the other accessory, which is the laser swords, which kind of just slide in, looking for the other one on here. <laughs> I think we, Houston, we got a problem. You okay there, Steve? Wait for it. So I'm assuming that's the hand <laughs> for the big sword then, right? Well, you think, but in the movie, it could hold both. Like, this one's actually really loose, too. Now, I could solve this problem by heating up the joint there, or heating up the plastic there and just squishing it in a little bit. That'll fix my problem, but for right now, with the package, that's a little bit disappointing. Well, I mean, even if you just slide it a little bit. <laughs> if you use the big one, that one stays in there pretty well. The gigantic laser sword, which is these two combined. Which, I guess, like, I'll probably be posing it with this one anyways, and I'll have the robot spirits of the two smaller ones. Yeah. Works for me. But, uh, swords look really good. For the details, just has some blue on the inside for the laser section with some gunmetal gray for the blade and the handle piece here as well. Which is kind of different than the robot spirits because that one was actually just all orange all the time with blue for the laser section. Same here too. You got some blue for the front portion, some metallic silver here in the handle and gunmetal for the rest of it. Looks really nice. And then for Gypsy Avenger, you get a pair of clenched fists for punching everything. And straight out of the package, you get a pair of open palms, which I kind of want to know if he can do the punchy hand martial arts move. So, I'm just going to pull that out from the forearm. This one goes in. I have the wrong fist because I'm special. We all know that, Steve. Well, that's good. So, fists look really nice. Nice little clench. Uh... Can it bend in and out? Cool. Uh, again, just like Saber Athena, can't go backwards because of the metal piece here, but still a decent amount of articulation. Bringing up the arm. Oh, no, you can't. What do you mean? Because this isn't going to be able to bend up. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess you could kind of just arc it that way and then just have it go over top. Yeah, hey, that'll work. We're getting there. We're getting there and then for the other accessories we have the plasma cannon and the gravity sling 
Which, how you get these on, and this is the part that kind of scares me a little bit. But you have to take it off the forearm here. So it pops into the middle section of the bicep here. So what you're going to do is grab the bicep lower portion of the plastic. And then you just kind of pull. Because you can't really wiggle it. And I haven't done this side yet. <laughs> Once you get it off, and I popped off the shoulder pad, but whatever, it goes back in pretty easy. So once that's off, you're going to want to line up. You can see the peg hole in the bicep, peg on the bottom. Ideally, I want that straight as possible, and that looks like it's about pretty straight. You line it up, the little armor piece goes right under that piece of metal right there. So it should line up like this. And then you just pop that bad boy back in. Now this one, shoulder pad keeps popping out on this side. But once you get that in, looks super sweet. Look how the armor plating extends outwards to reveal the weapon and the inner workings of the arm. Looks really good. Could have used like a little bit of like translucent plastic there. Kind of like what they did with the robot spirits would have been cool. Because if they would have added that with these metallic silver here and uh, dark grays with that effect, would have been something special. But still really cool looking. And definitely, uh, be honest, I, I still like this setup more than I do with the robot spirits. And then here he is with the plasma cannon, which is just the hand kind of expanding outwards for the fingers. Kind of weird that there's like a, just an empty piece of plastic right there. It does look a little weird, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks a little strange. You'll see here where the armor pieces kind of extend outward. Same with the arm where it opens up. You can kind of see a little bit of the inner workings. But still looks really nice. Maybe I like to see like a little bit of blue there for the little beam effect. But still overall really nice accessory. And then here's Gypsy Avenger with the chain blade. Which looks really nice. And the one thing I am very proud of this toy line already is that it comes with the hand already attached. Granted, you can't articulate the hand, but they just didn't try to skimp out and only give you like one set of hands. You have to swap them out every time you swap out the arms. Because you know how frustrating that is. <laughs> I also like too that it's its own separate piece. Granted, it's a little scary to get that out of there, but I don't have to worry about like the sword popping off or anything. So that is permanently fixated onto there. Which I'm okay with that. Obviously. Yeah, I like it because I just don't have to worry about this thing popping off the shelf. Which is really nice. But chain blade looks really good. Got some metallic silver there with a little bit of a darker shade on the inside. Again, hands aren't articulated. Armor plating is fully attached on there. But it raises up a little bit so that the blade can shoot out of it. Which is really cool to see. And overall, really nice... And pretty much mostly the same as what they did with the Robot Spirits. But the extra hand there makes me super happy. And then here's Gypsy Avenger with the Plasma Chain Blades. Uh, not engaged though. <laughs> They're just kind of there. They also, I don't know, is it me or they seem like a little small? I don't know. They seem fine to me. I mean, here, look at this guy. Looked about the same. Uh, I'd say a, a little bigger because if they're the same size... And this guy is bigger. That means they'd be a little smaller. But I don't know. Maybe it's just because I see that Robot Spears figure. So I just think they're bigger. Uh, but still really awesome. Definitely the way I'm going to pose this guy on my shelf for certain. But detailing looks really nice. Where you got that little chainsaw blade on the outer section here. With the light metallic silver. A little bit of darker gray for the inner section. You kind of see that this one doesn't actually stick upwards when it comes out. I don't know, I kind of like this one better than the orange one. I kind of wish that they would have had, like, the orange on the blade, though. Like, had the gray there and the orange on the outside. Kind of like with the reactor here. I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent in you because I like the actual... I can see the actual details on it. You know what I mean? Well, I still, like... It just had to be a different color. Like, I still detail, but... But then wouldn't it have to be, like, technically turned on so it would be, like... You know what I mean? Don't question me. <laughs> I just want it to be like when it's on, like brrr, jumping at the kaijus. Awesome. I'm okay with it. But still, also really nice too. You can see that these ones also come with the fists that aren't articulated. 
But again, really like that I don't have to reattach hands every time I have to put a new accessory on. Really awesome. And easily, probably my favorite accessory for this guy. So I guess first and foremost, we'll start with the details for Gypsy Avenger, which I'm just gonna say this now, all these guys are painted way better than the Robot Spirits. Like in terms of details, paint apps, I just, I like these guys way better. I like the use of uh, the blues with a little bit of metallic silvers. It's kind of splashed in there. Gives it more of that metallic gritty feel that you see in the film. Plus there's just a lot more color variety with the darker grays and the chest section. You can see it here on the rib cage. Inner workings, also gray. You can even see some of the red and pinstriping there on the arms. Same with the numbering on the top section of the breastplate. You see some on the legs here. And yeah, I feel like it's just in terms of paint, they just went kind of all in out on these guys, which is what I was expecting anyways, from what I've seen out of the photos that these guys are just gonna be way more impressive looking standing on your shelf. Uh, the big difference is, is the visor on here is painted. Same with the turbine here is also painted and not translucent plastic like the robot spirits. But that, I'm kind of indifferent, but the paint job on here still looks really nice. Detailing for the helmet looks really good as well. You can see here, like the intersection here is painted really nicely for the joint connectors. You get some more pinstriping on the bicep section. I didn't swap out the arms because I'm lazy, <laughs> but stomach section looks really nice too. Got the three segmenting grids. On the back, you get the two thruster sections, which also have the added paint wear on the back. With some gray here for the connector pieces and this two port thing. We'll Not say it's a battery charger. <laughs> Could be, it's the umbilical cord, <laughs> like Evangelion. Because technically, this movie reminds me a lot of Evangelion too because of those uh, mass produce Jaegers, like the Evangelion movie. No spoiling, Steve. No spoiling. You saw it in the movie. Yeah, no spoiling in a movie. That's what I'm saying. But I mean, the trailer. They were in the trailer, too. Trailer. No. Trailers. Anyways, see some Gypsy Avenger booty with the uh, pistons actually painted. Same with on the back. Even right there, that part that looked like it was painted. Should have been painted on the Robot Spirits. Painted on this figure. Yeah. <laughs> Super fancy. You got some painted kneecaps, got some red here on the intersection of the thigh. Yeah, detail-wise, like, this thing's just stellar. Like, easily, uh, am I going to say 10 out of 10 for this guy? I think I'm going to say 10 out of 10. Him? Yeah, just because of his accessories, man. I think for the turbine, if it was painted in translucent plastic, so it had, like, a little bit of reflecting. Yeah. Would have been really cool, but this still looks really nice. So, not too much I'm going to really complain about in terms of detail. Now, for his articulation, well, I guess I should be saying her, but again, just uh, works for me. It's easier. <laughs> but anyways, for the head, can look up about that far, down about that far. You know, side to side. Joints are still stiff. A little bit of a wiggle. Well, I was expecting this thing to be super articulated anyways for the head. So, nothing too crazy. Arm can go up. Because eh, this part's on a ball joint too. So I'm wondering, it's also got a joint here as well. So you got a nice, really nice rotation at the top of the shoulder. Uh, 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 no, I just popped it off. <laughs> uh, there we go. So without popping it off, you get the arm up about that far, downwards about uh, that far. You can't shift it down as well. Pop that sucker back off. So that pops off real easy. I'll give you a heads up. But arm can go pretty much forward and back all the way around if you mess around with it enough just leave it off steve no <laughs> doing this rotation at the top part of the bicep uh no double joint at the elbow single jointed elbow uh the hands on the standard one can rotate all the way around bend forward and back and these aren't double jointed either, but you guys get a really nice bend with the fist hands. For the chest section, rotates all the way around. It's on a ball joint, so you get a lot of play with it, but it also wiggles a little bit. So when you're adjusting it, it might shift a little bit here yeah, and there. Loose. It's a little loose, but it's kind of just, be, it's a ball joint. It's going to happen there because it's just a lot of weight, uh, but not enough to where it's not impossible to pose. 
kind of like the uh, oh the Kenner Manus, the neck of Kenner Manus. That thing was just flying everywhere. I think it was abysmal. Uh, for the legs, you can go outwards about that far, inwards about that far. Uh, four kick about oh eh, about that far. Back kick cheerleader about that far. <laughs> Double joint at the knee, but it is really stiff on this one, but you can get it to bend about that far Downwards about that far. No real rotation I don't think that looks like that's a ball joint. It looks like ball joint. I'm, all right, that one rotates This one I'm scared because that's not the thickest little joint there. So we're just gonna leave that be uh, for the feet Rotate side to side a little bit forward and back now next for Saber Athena Paint app wise, beautiful. Probably the most impressive out of the bunch because, like, all right, seriously though, Gypsy Avenger looks great, better than Robot Spirits, but Robot Spirits still looks pretty good in terms of paint. Yeah, like it has the sculpt, hundred percent, but just paint wise, not as good. Well, the Saber Fina one, if you can, uh, do you have it readily available? Like, look at the difference. <laughs> like, this is like night and day between the two. Because granted, I will say like sculpt wise and plastic wise, because like, I don't know, this just feels like, feels expensive or if that's a thing. <laughs> like it's just kind of, it's like hard plastic and stuff. It's just, so it's just got harder, crisper edges. Because like even here, this is a little softer. So these kind of bend a little bit while you're not going to have that issue with this one. But just like looking at paint wise though. This one seems way more impressive. Because even moving in like at the head, because on the robot spirits, it pretty much just like painted eyes in the front section. Because starting with the head sculpt, you can see here you got this really nice whitish blue. It's a very bright blue for the eyes in the front section of the head here with some dark gun metal for the front section of the face. Get some little whiskers. That's what I thought when I seen it first. It does look like whiskers. Kind of right? look like whiskers. Got a little stripe here on the back of the head with the ears on the side. Kind of like, doesn't this seem like it's like an elf mech? You know, Steve, this is the only one that we've been calling she, technically. <laughs> well, it's called Athena, so. Well, when we talked about it, it's like she. Compared to the other ones, it's always he. Well, yeah, if you see the robot spirits, it has boobs. That trust plate on that thing is huge. This one's kind of like... Manageable? Yeah, so... <laughs> it's just like the way the lights like it always kind of made me laugh because the front section you can definitely tell in here kind of looks like the front of a car <laughs> it's got headlights <laughs> so i don't know it seems more like a girl to me but you have the little symbol on the top section of the plate here got the shoulder pads wings got a little bit added detailing too with the dark gun metal sectioning these ones like artistic relation wise is kind of hooked to the shoulder but you can shift them but we'll go over that in a second the poor little that white could have been cleaner. Yeah, that, I did notice that. It looked a little odd, didn't it? It kind of looks like it's just kind of like puking out of the back there. But the rest of it looks really nice. The gum metal, you get a little bit more of that very... But you, you get a little bit more of the whites here and there on the spec section of the panels. And it's just nice, too, with the color contrast. You just see way more of the details. And you can just appreciate them better. Uh, maybe like a little bit more panel lining for like right around here. Would it help to show off some of this? Like, especially right here, some more panel lining. Which is kind of like what you needed for the Robot Spirits one, too. But this one's just, like, minor here and there. But I like that the stomach section, you can see all the gunmetal here with a little bit of orange for each of the plated sections. It looks really nice. You get the strap here on the front section of the legs. You can see some of the mechanisms for the sides. And then for the knees, you get some flaring armor plates at the knee sections with the wings on the back. Kind of reminds me of like, um, oh, who's that, Icarus? Icarus, yeah. Yeah, with the wing shoes. Feet look really nice too with some more added orange armor plating. And yeah, just overall paint wise, I'd say it's the most impressive out of the bunch when you compare them next to the robot spirits, hands down. Uh, actually, I'm kind of excited to see how their Obsidian Fury looks. That'd be cool. But for the articulation, head on this one. She actually got some. Uh... You can rotate that thing all the way around. Head can look up by that far, down by that far. A little bit of a wiggle. Now, arms isn't as good as the robot spirits. 
because you can only get it up about that far, down about that far. And there's, to my understanding, not a real good way to fix that. And you would think she was the one that was agile in the movie, that she would be more bendable in here, you know? Fastest Jaeger in the fleet. Yeah. And yeah, <laughs> those arms. Uh, can go forward. And you can get that thing pretty high. I think you can get it all the way around if you work it. Uh, rotation at the top part. I feel like the more I work this, the more I can get this thing up. Right now we're about here now. <laughs> it's going up. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on it. Because it does have a joint here and on the... Uh, is that double jointing? It's so hard. Can I just pop this off? You'll be able to. They all came off. Uh, that one's on there pretty good. Uh, it's more of a single joint from what I can see. Let's not risk it. Oh, no. It's moving. There's two. Okay. Uh, for the elbows, can bend about that far. Hands can rotate all the way around. Can only swivel inwards. For the chest, can rotate all the way around. Nice. A little dancing motion you can get with this one. It is a bit loose, though. I will say that. like Definitely more so than Gypsy was. But that's pretty easy to fix with some floor polish in the joint there. Uh, for the wings, if holding the arm, you can move these up and down. And for the legs, can go outwards about that far, inwards about that far, forward about that far, back about that far. A little bit of rotation at the top of the thigh, knees. I don't think that's a double joint. Nope. So you get bend about that far, and then the feet straighten up about that far, and then the feet can move forward and back, and rotate a little bit side to side. All right, now that I kicked Steve out of the chair, I'll take over for this guy. I wanted to do all of them. No, you have no positive things to say about Bracer Phoenix. I got this. I love this guy. He looks I still amazing. Like Bracer Phoenix, and I just think the robot spirits a little better. <laughs> Only a little though. All right, so before I get into this review, Steve, why were you so lazy? Why didn't you put the original hands on back? Because they're the clenched fists. They should be the original hands. No, right? no. When it came out of package, you had open hands. No. Now I can't do a proper review, Steve. I guess we're going home. All right, well, see you guys I'm later. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't bore you with the same details. As Steve said in the previous two, paint job is amazing okay they really put in a lot of details on this paint it is freaking fantastic if you guys look over here they even painted a thruster the thruster the thruster the thruster they thruthoth painted the thruster the guy I can't. like that kid from space invaders we just watched it's always had to talk with the tongue <laughs> out of his mouth if you guys look right here you can see that they actually painted the thrusters unlike the uh certain company over there on the floor where it belongs. Yeah, I didn't say it was better painted. Steve. I can swap guns out. But one thing that Steve thinks it's negative, but I think it's fine, is this guns are permanently stuck in the front. Like, I don't think it's horrible, per se. Because, granted, if this is the only figure you have, and it came with the guns cannons for the chest, you're probably going to pose it with the gun cannons in the chest. Exactly. But... <laughs> I still like to, this. to have the option of taking it off. He just admitted that he's going to leave the guns in if he had the option of removing them. But he's still going to complain because you can't... It, it makes no sense to me. Maybe I want them in his back. I don't I don't get that option now. Speaking I have to wait for Bracer Phoenix version 2 <laughs> to get the, with the back game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but speaking of the back, as you can tell where the guns would have rotated over here... And it actually got the track that goes all the way around. And it looks pretty good. They really put in the details and it's painted differently. It's not all one same color. Like I said, I don't want to bore you guys with the whole details of the same color. So we'll just skip into the minor details that might be bugging us or if they did a really good job. Like for the example, we found one little thing back here. And it's like came in damaged, I think it is. Or we're not sure if it was just warped or if this part was supposed to be cut. But, like I said, you know, just pointing out little things, nitpicking here and there. I do like that the uh, brass knuckles painted, and it comes with the closed fist. And even on the open fist, it's got the brass knuckles. But, I prefer it this way. It's just 
that's the kind of robot he is and he's gonna stay that way and uh, going down to his legs um one thing that I was worried about when I seen him, when you bend his legs down, I was afraid that there would be a lot of rubbing here where the legs fall in. But as you can see, it actually fits in perfectly. So it won't damage any of it. For his articulations, there's not much to his head movement, but that is to be expected. He is inside of whole armor piece thing. Yeah, it's kind of sunken in a little bit. You yeah. got a little bit of motion though. Yeah, there's a little bit of wiggle to the left and right, up and down. For his arms though, if you straighten them out, you can go all the way around and even his shoulder pads i'm gonna call the shoulder pads just make him look make her look more feminine excuse me her right you is gotta make him look more rounded i guess yeah it does have some movement up and down left and right and that is for the arm joint because as you see the actual joint itself goes up and down it's got a lot of movement yeah it's got a decent amount of articulation for the arm section there Moving down to his elbow, it's a little hindered because of this part right here. It kind of hits the thrusters. And, this, and the other side is exactly the same, so it doesn't change much. But the actual joint itself looks kind of cool. Looks like a circle, like a wheel on a car. I like that. For his hand... Kind of like a gear. Yeah, for his hand, it goes all the way around. You got a little bit, which actually... Oh, I thought it was a ratchet joint that clicks, but it doesn't. It's just a regular one. For his tummy section, though, he is kind of hindered, and that is because of the gun up front. But unlike the other guys where they can twist all the way around, he cannot. He goes a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, up and down. But then yet again, it makes up for it in, like I said, in the arms, which they got a lot more movement than the other guys, and the legs. Which is pretty much the same as what you got with the robot spirits. Yeah, because if it wasn't for his arm... You could actually go all the way around, but gets kind of in a way. But hey, hey, Steve, how's it going? Jeez, oh, <laughs> I can hold my own legs. I can lick my own toes. <laughs> so you can go up about that far, backwards by same thing. Like I said, if it wasn't for this arm, you can rotate it all the way around. The joint does not move up and down like the other, like his uh, shoulder does, but it does have some wiggle. You can turn it forward like this and back as you can see in this one right here it's got some weird movements you can do like that i don't know why you would do that but it gives you the option to do it and then for his knees is the odd one because what is what do you say steve like this is like the ostrich leg yeah it's very similar to crimson typhoon i do like and then for his toe go forward and back his leg or his foot can go all the way around and that's about it for his articulation steve you want to finish i guess yeah i guess too unless you can do the outro yeah i don't think so <laughs> all right Move over. And for some quick comparisons, here's the diamond select pacific Grim uprising figures compared next to the robot spirits counterparts size does matter steve size does matter what is this, Godzilla 98? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need a bigger box. But yeah, definitely uh, size-wise. Oh, these how, guys have it. The only much? thing is, is like, look at its scale. Like, they're all pretty much the same. But these guys, like... Here, here Steve, put this guy in background so we can show the size. Yeah, I was going to say, size truly does matter. Because here they are with the Solo Shigoku and Gypsy Danger, who's now in the background, so you can see... Just how much more he towers. <laughs> and here they are next to some kaijus with the Sophie Spirits Raijin and the NECA Battle Damage Knifehead. See, they kind of scale with NECA pretty good. Yeah, surprisingly. Because this guy's met this... Well, he's still tiny. Yeah. He's still super tiny compared to everybody else. Knifehead, that's about right. Yeah, we need some more NECA comparisons. Let me go find some, Steve. Yeah, here there are some more NECA Pacific Rim figures with Chernal Alpha and Hong Kong Brawl Gypsy Danger, which I guess he's only a little bit bigger. Yeah, just a little bit, not only too much. Little. And here there are some other Robot Spirits figures with Titan Redeemer, Guardian Bravo, and Obsidian Fury. So overall with the Pacific Rim Uprising, Bracer Phoenix, Saber Athena, and Gypsy Avenger. I really love all these figures. Um, My personal favorite is still probably Gypsy Avenger. But compared to the Robot Spirits versions, uh, Saber Athena is probably the most impressive looking. And Bracer Phoenix is still just kind of like, 
bottom of the barrel just kind of like he was with the Robot Spirits ones too. Steve, you're at the bottom of the barrel. Compare to the Robot Spirits, this guy actually moves up a few notches for me because I can see his actual paint apps on him and some movement that he should have with his legs. I just like him better. Well, I feel like the paint apps definitely is better than what we got Robot Spirits. And same with the scale, I really like really well. And they all pretty much come with everything you wanted to see from the movie, especially Gypsy Avenger. I want the ball. Give me the ball. Yeah, Bracer's the one, like, I kind of wish the uh, the cannon could have came out. I want the ball. And I can swap them out on the Robot Spirits. I, can't, I don't know if you're going to be able to do this with the uh, Diamond Select line. Yeah. Until at least we get the other figure. And no matter what, you're kind of stuck with the gun cannon. So with that being said, I would recommend these guys over the robot spirits for the majority of you guys. Uh, mainly, you're going to want the robot spirits because they are better articulated, for sure. and Which means they're going to pose a little bit better on your shelves. And for people that really, really love to play with their figures, you're going to want the robot spirits, even with the lack of... Uh, paint detail and they scale a little bit better with the monsters figures where with these guys are going to be more for people more similar to me where you buy them you mess around with them for a little bit you'll pose them put them on your shelf and then periodically you'll put them in a different pose maybe you want to swap on a part then these guys are going to work great for you and especially since they scale really well with the NECA Pacific Rim figures already which if you already were in the NECA Pacific Rim line you're going to be wanting to pick these guys up too Definitely, because I feel like they are in the line with NECA. Just it looks a little better to me than NECA quality does, for sure. Uh, the main thing for me, difference-wise, is I don't feel like certain joints are going to break on me, yeah. which is really nice. And they already almost pretty much come with everything you'd want, like especially Gypsy Avenger. Like, this would have been, what, eight NECA Gypsy Dangers we would have had to get before getting to this guy? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> That is sad, but it's true. To get all these accessory parts. Uh, Bracer Phoenix is the one that would be I would like to see another version of. Even though I really like the NECA one, Steve, I'm really happy that Diamond Select picked these guys because they did it a little better, not even a little bit more better than NECA could have done because they do have, they're like joints are not quite as good as the, uh, gosh, what's their name? Uh, the way I see these is... This is like end of the line Pacific Rim from NECA, where all the figures were pretty good. Yeah. At the end of the line, like I liked all those figures. And these are just the first figures we've gotten out of these guys. So they'll just get better and better and better. Yeah, so we're already like top of what NECA had with just this first launch. So I'm very pleased with how these figures turned out. And now it just I can't wait for the kaijus. I really want to see how good the kaijus turned out. Yeah. Because that's where the NECA ones kind of failed a little bit is the kaijus were good looking but articulation wise very hindered because of the molds and i kind of want to see how they're going to try to get around that how they're going to improve on it yeah so after picking up these guys i'm definitely looking forward to picking up the next wave especially the uh kaiju jaeger and more of the kaijus but what do you guys think if you guys picked up any of these figures what's your favorite diamond select figure is robot spirits just more you think please let us know in the comments a little closer pick these guys on our facebook you want to click the link in the description below and we also have a patreon account with exclusive prints and live stream movie reviews for the channel also down in the description and help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button subscribe become a region today see you guys in the next video bye bye, -bye. Hey. <laughs> this ain't a game you're being a pill oh. you're being a pill you're also in the shot get out of the shot shanji get out of the shot she, don't you knock him over. Yeah, you go get it. There you go. Go do your thing. See what I got to deal with trying to set up this shot? It's horrible.